Hey guys, Capper here and welcome back to this dismantling series. Today is another challenging one. We've got this 18 foot water tank. It's very bulky and probably between 4,000 and 5,000 pounds. So the first thing I wanted to do was see if I could lift the entire thing with the excavator. Because if I could, it would make loading it a lot easier because I could just lift it up in the air and they can drive back under it. Well, that didn't happen. I didn't have quite enough juice. Um, even over my blade in the front, I could almost get it off the ground, but that just wasn't work. So now we had to go to plan B. Of course, we got rain last night, so everything was wet and slick. So plan B is I'm going to, I got to push it and pull it and drag it out basically into the driveway. And then I'm going to try and lift the front end and have them back under it. Part of the problem you're going to see through this whole process is you see right now how it don't want to sit flat. Well, on, my, on this side that I'm lifting it right now, underneath it, there is a, about a four inch pipe coming out of the bottom of it. And it's probably eight nine inches long so that so what it doesn't want to sit flat so that's part of the problem you're going to see throughout this process is that pipe coming out of the bottom Does it need to come my way? Okay. It's like pretty now. good. That's as far back as you can come. Well, you're, you're pretty centered. All right, let's see what happens. So the next step was going to be I got to lift it and I got to lift it high enough to clear that pipe underneath. It's actually probably at least a foot sticking out underneath it. If it just had the four legs on the bottom, it would be a piece of cake. Lift it, slide it forward, and away we go. However, with that pipe underneath, I had to lift it extra high to clear their trailer frame, which in turn was gouging the front two feet into the trailer deck. Okay, so that wasn't working. It was scraping the bottom. So we improvised and we found like a uh, kind of a round cedar log, like, you know, like an eight footer. And we managed to get that. I had to come around the front, lift the front, and we got this rolling log underneath there to help it roll forward. So let's see how that goes. Man, I love my new uh, Milwaukee battery operated chainsaw. So then we uh, came up with the idea we needed two railroad ties to get under the rear end of this thing. And uh, for our safety police, yeah, I don't like guys, you know, working under there, but the thing's only raised a few inches. So if, you know, if for something did happen, it would just basically fall to the trailer. So then we got two railroad ties underneath it, which stabilized this whole tank then, and we could finish pushing it forward. Right 
Yeah. So all in all, it was a success. Uh, nothing got broke. No one got hurt. Uh, we helped them get this thing strapped down. We put about 64 different straps on it from the feet crisscrossing at the bottom, the front bottom part, and then a bunch over the top. So they were good to go. As far as weight, they're legit. I mean, it's a 14,000 pound trailer. This thing weighs four or 5,000. Again, to our DOT wannabes out there, it's legal, it's not over tall, it's not over wide, and it's not overweight, and it's properly secured. So, thanks for joining us. I'll see you on the next go around. We got a lot more coming at you. Thanks a lot.